Hey guys, so um, today we're playing a game called The Hex. This is by the same creators as Pony Island. Um, they recently came out with a game called Inscription, which I'm planning on playing, but I didn't realize they also had another game out, and I decided to try that one first. Um, I don't know much about the game, except uh, I think you play as four different ca or multiple characters, um, and that's about it. That's about all I know. I think there's like maybe a murder mystery or something, but uh, let's just get into it. Oh, nope, not there. Here we go. Six pint in. Oh. A? Do I click A? Oh yeah, it's moving. It's he in a? He's in a wheelchair. Okay. Can I interact with any of them? No. Hello. What? Slow down. You're telling me that one of my patrons is planning a murder, you say? But which one? H hello Hmm? Oh yeah, that's right. It's like one of them is a murderer. Interesting. Hey, listen up. I just got a disturbing call. Someone in this room is planning a murder. And who are they planning to murder? Now I mean to get to the bottom of this. You, uh, weasel kid. Come over here, let's talk. He's weasel kid? That's kind of a... Why is he called weasel kid? He's got tattoos and stuff. What is it, Gramps? Look, kid, between you and me, you are the only one I trust here. I want you to talk to a few of these characters. See if any will fess up. Okay. So he trusts Weasel Kid with his shirtless body and tattoos. Odd. <laughs> Quiet, we're not supposed to know each other. Oh, right. Um, the name's Lazarus, kid. I'm a space marine. So they know each other. Uh, very nice to meet you, Lazarus. Likewise. Hey, Creep, you planning a murder? M murder Sure. So you admit it? Dust Bowl Danny, Helga, and Bandit. That old rat fangs. I'll get him one day. Interesting. What's your story, man? You from a walking simulator or something? You're barely even textured, dude. <laughs> Uh, hold on. I just want to change the dialogue speed because they're going a little too quick for me to read. There we go. And who are you supposed to be? I'm a high-level sorceress, kid. Watch yourself. You look strong enough to kill someone. What are you up to? Watch your mouth, kid. I'm from a cooking game. I'm no killer. Hmm. Oh, I have some alcohol. I got more alcohol. I can place the alcohol different places. You're a chef? You look more like a fighter. Turns out I can do both. The barkeep here pays me to cook. And what kind of magic do you practice, anyways? None of your business. What, you've never heard of Super Weasel Kid? Nothing. There was a Tall Jane, too. And the Verm. Mm, yes. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Let's finish, uh, the dialogue of the rest of the characters. I never caught your name. Gendrel Stormblaze. Is that all? I've got my eye on you, kid. I like the music. 
You're my first suspect, man. Your silence is incriminating. So, did anyone say anything? Uh, no, man. That was kind of a waste of... Eh? I didn't think so. At least you're acquainted now. I want you to make your way upstairs. Behind the first door on the second floor. There's a very important key up there. Oh! Almost forgot to give that old elevator a jump start. Let me just... Huh. I'm not trusting the barkeep. That should do it. Go get me that key. Okay. Can't go in the kitchen. Okay. Reserved for Chef Bryce. I guess that's the fighter. Oh. Well, I guess I'm going into Chef Bryce's room. <gasps> oh, jeez. Is that blood? Well, here's the stupid key. I guess I'll bring it back to the old barkeep. Whoa. Oh no, I'm taking that back. Isn't that the chef's? Anything behind anything? No. Oh, what was that? Thumbs down? No, it wasn't. Uh huh. Super Weasel Kid, the good old days. Oh, he didn't have tattoos back then. See, like, he reminds me of Tails. Miles. Super Weasel Kid! My, how you've grown! Hi, Mr. Shrewd. Hi, well, without further ado, welcome to a grand adventure. Here you can run, jump, and maybe even soar among the clouds. We're all so excited that you're here. Thanks, Mr. Shrewd. I'll be looking out for you, kid. Okay, it's like Sonic. Kinda. Maybe more like Mario. Ooh, gotta avoid the spikes. Oh my god. Oh. Ugh. Hold on. Okay. Ah, oh, why do I suck? One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, right? Nope. Oh my god, I'm on spikes. Wait, I'm jumping on the spikes. Can I not get injured? You're wearing me out, kid. Try to stay out of the spikes. Oh, he was helping. Sorry, Mr. Shrewd. Oh, I couldn't stay mad at you. Alright, well now I know. Ooh, baddies. Oh, wait a minute, what just... Did he... Did I almost die and he helped me? Mr. Shrewd's the best. Oh, no. How do I, uh... Hello? Hi there! Who are you? Oh, young weasel! You interrupted my musings! Sorry! Fear not! You are the least of my woes! My boundless wisdom! Wasted here! For a petty side quest! A quest? Yes! Young weasel! For coins! Bring me fifty and two... You a secret I will reveal! How many coins do I have? I need ten more. All right, no more. Almost. Oh, shit, the baddie. See? He helps me. Kind of feels like cheating. Oh, I got enough. All right. 
Where was she? Up here, right? They laugh when you jump on them. Hi, I got the coins. Young Weasel, and I will tell you my secret. The source of the true happiness lies within. No, I cannot. Huh? I cannot simply spout nonsense as a reward. As I was supposed to. Here's a real secret. This game was built on the ashes of another. Alas, I have said too much. What? Wh what? Sara Saparilla. That is all, young weasel. So... On the ashes of another, were they developing one game and then, uh... It fell through, so they used the assets to make another? Oh, another one of these dudes. Come here, little Goopas. Koopas. Goombas, whatever. It's okay. Apparently I don't die, so I guess I could just... <laughs> take advantage. Was he smiling before and is now frowning, or is that just me? You can't talk? Oh! Was I supposed to do that? Okay. One more word of advice. I know I'm a bother. You're special, kid. But don't let it get to your head. Does that mean he can't help me anymore? No name is as big as Super Weasel Kid for platforming games. The very first entry to the series does not disappoint. Love, Mr. Shrewd. Ah. Mr. Shrewd's retro game lover. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh no! Wait, I wanna see. Here we go. Pearl, pure childlike joy. Oh my gosh. It gives fake ratings from your friends. Oh, no. Look at you. You poor fool. W what? Oh, to be replaced by such mediocrity. Who are you? You should take better care of Mr. Shrewd. He's getting older. Stop saying scary things. Very well. Goodbye for now. Ooh. The trip. Super Re Weasel Kid 2 Radical Road. Long awaited sequel. Now they said this game wasn't as good as its predecessor. Oh, now he's got the sunglasses and a piercing to make him a little bit more radical. This one's be the ga uh, GameCube era. Hey, kid. Welcome to the uh, Radical Road. I'm hyped. Right, of course. I have to let you know. This asphalt is tough for me to break through. I won't be able to help as much as I used to. It's okay, Mr. Shrewd. I can handle it now. Well, alright. If you say so, out of my way, man. I see. So he got a little, uh... big for his britches. Oh yeah, and the clouds are like... 
more fog. It's not quite what I expected for a sequel, but I still enjoyed it. Can't help but be disappointed. Game's not what I expected. It was so bad. Whoa, not cool. Falling into spikes and other hazards will cause you to lose a life. Did he kill me? No, I just... I'm just gonna avoid them. Oh, no! Oh, god, for a second he looked like a zombie. Oh, why'd I take the, uh... Alright. The sky level. Oh, skateboarding. It is very sonic. Huh. So, are we learning what happened to this kid as the games progressed? He became more and more. Do you still trust him? You again. You see what people are saying? Right? They don't like you as much as they used to. I don't care what people think, man. Why do I find that so unconvincing? Hmm. Very interesting. The fall. So this must have been the game that... ...really dropped the uh, ball. Who the fuck are you? Hey, kid! Welcome to a brand new, uh, adventure. Who the heck are you? Where's Mr. Shrewd? Shrewd? Never heard of him. You've never heard of Miss of him? Who are you? I'm Mr. Squirrel. Oh, Mr. Squirrel. Now listen to me. No, you listen to me, kid. They hired me to talk. So I'm gonna talk. Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to a brand new adventure. Here you can run, jump, and maybe even soar among the clouds, etc., etc. Now knock yourself out. So what the hell is this? Oh, it's glitched mess. Oh no. We started reusing old assets. And then him fix bugs. That sucks. It's sad. Alfred Shrewd. Aww. And then he became washed up, got a whole bunch of tattoos. <laughs> Alright, and wound up at the bar somehow. That was quite the fall. This key better be worth it. Okay, not that way. SWK. I'm a lie? Remember... Sarah... Sathila? I can't understand it. Who, who's that? Which way should I go? Oh boy, I guess he's not awake from his dream yet. Jeremiah got out all right. By the looks of it. Who the hell's Jeremiah? What are you talking about? What is going on? I'm very lost. Oh, it's the elevator. Let's call it. So we've got a washed up kids game. Not really kids game, but washed up platformer, I should say.
Hey, old man. What the hell, man? Excuse me. Well, first the door was locked. And, oh, and then I nearly died falling through the floorboards. Kid, you've got the key, right? This better unlock something better goddamn... <laughs> Don't worry, this key unlocks the kitchen. And today's special is hot pie. Oh, now I'm Bryce. Interesting. A teleporter? I'd recognize one anywhere. It turned off, though. Alright. So... Interesting. Look. Like you said, we haven't always been friends. But you aren't planning to kill someone, right? If I was planning a murder, Bryce... Would I tell you? Barkeep was rattling on about a key while you were gone. Yeah, I gave it to him. That's all you have to say, dude? I gave it to him. Hmm. And what are you? The random fighter option? That was a joke. Lazarus? You're the Space Marine. That's how I'm known. And you're Bryce. From a fighting game. I'm a chef. That fighting gig wasn't for me. They're all washed up games. What's the gas mat for? Planning something? P planning on something. What? Hmm. What is it, Barkeep? I found the kitchen key. And our guests are hungry. You know how to bake a pie, right? Do I ever. Glad I hired you. Here's the key. What's the blood upstairs for? Alright, let's go make a pie. Strawberry, not hot strawberry pie. That's our special. We got a light switch in here. There we go. When you get the pie. Is that a key in the tin? Get it out. Uh, wait a minute. Shouldn't we take the key out? Alright, whatever. And you put some strawberries in it. Help one and must have cooking. Call this number. That bit of helmet looks familiar. What's the helmet look like? Like the space guy's helmet? Oh. It's piggy bank up there. Alright, cook the pie. Oh, never mind. Let's put that back. Um. Did I just throw the pie away? You're kidding. Alright, well now I know. Okay. Just that. Alright. Here's your pie. His helmet. See? Pie's done. Ah, excellent. But the pie isn't for me. Our guest, Miss Stormblaze over there, has paid a high price for a private room. A tradition of the Six Pine Inns is to provide a warm dinner to the accompanying a private room. So bring it up to our guest's room. Second door on the second floor. Alright, hold on. I want to see something real quick. If I go back in here... Then I get that piggy bank. Then I go here. Can I use that on the coin machine? Oh, wait, there's a coin there. Alright, now break the piggy bank. I guess I can't. Alright, then I'm gonna put it here for now. Hopefully it stays. Alright, let's give uh, Stormblaze her pie. Take it, she's up. All 
All right. So in that room, murder was happening, I think. Or maybe it was in his room. No, it was, because it had the key. All right, so let's leave the pie on the... Let's read this. Hmm. A bit hard to read. Requested exorcism. The hell she up to? It's cameras in all the rooms. Oh no. Well, I know one way to clear this. Let's see if these old knuckles still hold up. Oh, now we're gonna go into his game. Before the first fight. What is this? Where am I? This is a training room. You're here to learn. Learn what? I already know how to cook. Cook? No. I'll be teaching you how to... Fight. Ah, oh, that, that was good. Alright, we're gonna stop the game there today. Um, and then play his story in the next one. So, um, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.